When do we get to open our presents? Hopefully soon. Oh, I want to open them now. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's them! You there! What are you hiding? Mom! Wait! Where have you been? I... Well... I... No, don't answer that. I already know. You've been out gambling instead of helping out here. <gasps> Christopher! <laughs> it was really fun hanging out with you, but I... Chris... Chris, we... are very disappointed in you. What your father was trying to say was that you really need to stay out of trouble, Chris. You could never disappoint us. Understood? Before we leave, we were instructed to inform you of a recent discovery of your parents' will, madam. You and your sisters are expected at Caville Mansion tomorrow at noon. Good night, madam. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Dad, the phone! You are speaking to Mr. Andrew Hobbs. Dad, can you keep it down? Of course, Mrs. Carpenter. I will take care of it first thing in the morning. Thank you! I'm coming. Yes? I've been sent to tell you that your parents' will has been found. Their will? A car will pick you up tomorrow. Good night, madam. Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight. Jingle. <laughs> it's a classic. Well, it's not a very good one. Excuse me, but everywhere else is full, so I sit. Thank you. Oh, I still wish they would stop playing that song. Just because you don't like Christmas doesn't mean that nobody else should. I'm not a big fan of Christmas either. Oh, why not? Eh, I've just never cared much. I'm Rebecca, by the way. Are you sure this is the right place? It is according to the map. <coughs> Mrs. Clavel? Mrs. Clavel? And who are you? My name is Emily Hobbs. Oh, that makes you Agnes's sister. And you are? <laughs> I'm her husband. How can I help you, son? I'm looking for a Mrs. Clavel. 
You found her, and you must be Mr. Hobbs. Yes. Can we come in? Yes, of course. You must all be wondering about the will. But for the moment, I think you have some catching up to do. Um, I grew up in an orphanage and the day I turned 18, they threw me out. Apparently I was old enough to make it on my own. But then I met Noah. I was adopted by a widow. The first year after the night, she took me to their graves. But it was too painful. I never went again. I'm sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. The tree was thinking of a summer day in the forest, and of Christmas Eve. The boy still played in the garden, and the youngest wore the golden star on his breast, with which the tree had been adorned during the happiest evening of its experience. Now all was past. The tree's life was past, for all stories must come to an end. Good night, girls. Sleep tight. William? Yes, my dear. Will you wake Christopher? He's needed in the kitchen. But be prepared. You know how he loves his sleep. Christopher, get up. <sighs> I'm up. Then get to the kitchen. Go! I got you this. Put it on. It's very... blue. Can you at least pretend to like it? It's not that. I really like it. I'm just... not used to getting... <laughs> just put it on. Hello. Could you take your happiness somewhere else? Oh, what? You think I like it here any more than you? You came here wanting to. I didn't have a choice in the matter. At least you have parents. <laughs> yeah, right. My parents died when I was ten. I'm just a foster kid.
Do you want to go skating, sweetheart? No, it's cold outside. Are you sure, dear? It would be really fun. I'd rather stay inside if that's okay. Your call, dear. Oh my, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Do you want to go skating? Noah probably wouldn't like it if I did. Come on. And then, on the other hand... <laughs> Tell me something about your life. <laughs> Look, my life's boring. Accept it. Tell me about your likes and dislikes instead. I think... I might like you. Ah, <sighs> don't you just love the snow? I do, but it's getting pretty cold. Yes, I suppose you're right. Come on, before you turn into a snowman. <laughs> Mr. Bear, let's go find someone who wants to play our childish games. That's not fair, Charlotte. Yes, it is. What did you say, Mr. Bear? Stop it. He's just a stupid toy. No, he's not. You're the one who's stupid. You think you're too old to play with me. You've grown up. Now, Mr. Charlotte, Bear and me won't it. play with you anymore. Good night. I've been there before, all the fighting, in the end, it seems like it will never stop. All you can hope for is a miracle sent from above. It's likely to happen anytime soon. Noah, what are you doing? Will you please just stand still when I'm talking to you? I see you're not wearing that dress I gave you. Was something wrong with it? No, it's perfectly fine. I just changed it when I went skating with Emily today again. Well, that's just... perfect. I was just spending time with my sister. Your sister? A few days ago, they were just strangers you didn't even want to get to know. Look, isn't it romantic? <sighs> I don't know. You don't know? What's wrong with you? Look, I told you some stuff I shouldn't have, but we can't like each other. You're putting your foot down? <laughs> Charlotte? Lindsay? Girls? 
You won't find him here, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm sorry. But I take it you haven't seen my daughters? Unfortunately, no. But they are very lovely girls. Thank you. But they do appear to have quite a temper. <laughs> they do indeed. We don't know where they get it from. Strange. You should try the room again. Girls? Charlotte? Lindsay? What on earth is going on? Charlotte says I'm going up. I don't want to. I don't want to be a grown-up. I don't want her to grow up either. Oh my. Neither of you are going to grow up anytime soon. Really? Of course. And no matter what, you two will always be my little girls. Thea? Where are you? I'm right here! Good. So what exactly are we looking for? Anything that could make this place look a little more Christmassy. Everything here is so old, but still beautiful. Why put it all away? See ya. That looks an awful like... Our mother! Chris? What do you want? To yell at me? I... If you're here to order me around, don't bother. Is that how you talk to your own father? You're not my father! Never will be! Do not walk away when I'm talking to you! Watch me. Noah? Yes? There's something I should tell you. What? I know you've sacrificed a lot for me, but- Will you marry me? Noah, get up! Why me? If you loved me for me, then you wouldn't keep trying to change You're things. You're wrong, Saya. I love you, but... to say goodbye. I regret to leave now, but I'm afraid that this is not my choice to make. But you must stay. It's not yet Christmas. I'm afraid that's out of the question. Wait, son. I never thought of you as a quitter. If you love her as much as I think you do, then you should stay here and fight for the things you hold dear. Don't just throw it all away. She does not want me. Or, perhaps she wants you to want her. She was very clear. Goodbye, Miss Clavel. Go away! Oh, Mrs. Clavel. I'm sorry. Oh, hush. It is not yet late to undo what has been done. Undo what? I'm so confused. Why did you call us here in the first place? 
There was no will, was there? Right. Just as her. Her? That picture in the attic. It really was Mom, then. Before it all happened. What have you got there? This? It was my mother's. I've always had it with me. Can someone please tell me what's going on? The meal won't cook itself. I should really get back to the kitchen. Will you just hear her out? It's about all of us. I summoned you all to tell you about your mother, my daughter. She ran away and married your father. After that, I never heard from her again. Well, that means you're our grandmother and our legal guardian. You think it was easy? I hadn't heard from my daughter in 15 years and suddenly she's gone, leaving four children behind. So, we could have been raised here as a family. Yes, as a family. I know this isn't the best time, but have any of you seen Rebecca? I think she might have run away after Christopher hurt her feelings. <gasps> what? Rebecca, I'm... Why are you here? We... We should go back. Chris, wait. Why did you come looking for me? Come on, you can tell me. Because I made a mistake. It's all my fault. Your fault? I'm the one who- Agnes, don't say that. <laughs> but you know it's true. No. The only thing true is this. You. And me. She looks so happy here. Why would she ever run away? Look at her smile. Because she fell in love, my dear. Out of four daughters, you resemble her the most. Noah, I'm glad you're still here. Uh, hello. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. It's okay. <sighs> so, we're okay? Yes. Mom? 
I couldn't sleep. <laughs> Charlotte. Mom, why are you sad? <laughs> oh, sweetheart, it's just grown-up problems. You don't look happy, but I don't want you to be sad. You're not supposed to be sad when it's Christmas. <sighs> you know what? You're right. So it's still going to be Christmas tomorrow? Yes, and the best you've ever had. Before that can happen, though, we've got to give your father this. really is the best Christmas ever. <sighs> no, this is just the beginning of many best Christmases to come. <gasps> this place looks absolutely wonderful. Not only that, but you are also absolutely wonderful. Merry Christmas, dear. Oh, Merry Christmas. Now though, it's time for your present. Oh, you didn't have to get me anything. I wanted to. Open up. It's a rose. Merry Christmas, Mom. Christopher, you look wonderful. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Dad. Mm. Merry Christmas, son. Um, Merry Christmas, Christopher. Rebecca, would you like to dance? Of course. Merry Christmas, William. Merry Christmas, dear. He's not here, dear. I didn't think he would be. Wait. Who are you talking about, Grandmother? I'm talking about a young man that maybe all he was looking for was a girl that would go after him and love him just as much as he loves that girl. What? Follow your heart, dear, and it will always lead you to where you're meant to be. Right. What? Yes, yes, yes! Merry Christmas, Thea. Merry Christmas! First of all, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Thank you for coming and staying for this exciting month. I hope that this Christmas will be the beginning of many Christmases to come. Now, to raise a toast. To family. To friends. To true love. To the true meaning of the Christmas holiday. <laughs> to the true, to the true meaning, meaning of Christmas. Christmas.
Like what you heard? Listen to more great songs and productions on VocalLoco.com.